white ball to red ball to pink ball in the space of about a fortnight. How does that, how does that affect your preparations? Um, obviously, I've never played a pink ball game um, in first class cricket, so um, I've got a lot to learn this week, and I know I guess it'll be a new experience, and hopefully it's something that's going to stay around for a while. So you better get used to it, I reckon. So yeah. <laughs> Been in pretty good form with the uh, the other balls. How are you feeling about? Uh, do you back yourself in? Yeah, I think cricket's still pretty pretty similar. Every style or ball or whatever you want to call it, you play. So um, I, I go in with the same mentality most times. Yeah. How about your form? Another big score in the last game. You're saying well at the moment, obviously. Um, yeah, I, I feel in good nick. So hopefully that form can continue and help help the side win a game or two, so is which we, we need to do that, so. Yeah. What is it that's sort of like, you, before the big bash, you hit big runs in this year and then you just had another good game. What is it, has anything changed or is it just that you're getting the chance and taking advantage of it? Yeah, I guess uh, I'm trying to take advantage of getting the opportunity and, um, you know, I guess it's my second year in the, the system now and I feel a little bit more a part of the team and, and balanced and, and feel like I belong. So, yeah, that's probably it, I reckon. You're not slowing down when you're playing your shield innings either, is it? It's just you just try and play the same way each time you go out? Um, yeah, Swepson was bowling pretty well at that stage and, um, you know, I thought it was a good opportunity with the ball spinning in to try and uh, put a bit of pressure back on them and um, lucky enough it went my way because it could have looked pretty silly if it didn't. But, yeah, just went my way that day. Do you feel like Ferg being out of the team, as, as tragic as it is for you blokes, has given you an opportunity to kind of step up with the bat? Um, yeah, you know, it's given Raphael a shot at three and um, he did very well during the, the last year game as well. He, he batted outstanding. Um, but yeah, it gives me, Rossi, Hedy, um, another us. You know, we just got to pick it up that extra 5%, I guess. The World T20 score was announced. Um, strikers were a dominant team, but there's no one in there. Do you think that's a bit unlucky that there was no one from Adelaide in that squad? Um, yeah, I guess that um, from the strikers' point of view, that there was no one in the squad, which is disappointing. But um, if you look at an Adelaide point of view overall, we've still got people representing Australia at the moment, which is what we want to do. Um, you know, we look, we've got Chatty going over to the Test Series now. Um, Zorba just got announced in the T20 side. Um, Hetty played a couple of T20s. Um, so, you know, there, there's there's lots to be excited about, I think, in SA cricket at the moment. How are you feeling about the rest of the Shield season? Obviously, you guys have, you know, come out of the woodwork a bit this year, playing pretty well. Are you confident going into the second half? Obviously, we're underway a bit, but still feeling good about it? Yeah, um, I guess we're going to prepare it for each game the same way as we did in the first half. and. Um, Shield cricket's a tough game and you're going to have a bad game every now and then and um, we'll rock up next Sunday and um, with the same preparation that we always have done and um, hopefully that can contribute to a win. Is it unsettling having your players in and out, national duty and injury and that sort of thing, trying to get a settled squad back now? Uh, no, I don't think so. We always strive to have players play for Australia and um, if that means that we don't have Chatty for the next couple of Shield games or we miss Richo because he's playing one day as Zorba. You know, that's that's a that's a part of life. You look at New South Wales, Victoria, they've they've had lots of people go in and out and they're still winning Shield finals, so it's just a part of life. So have you got a next man up kind of mentality? There's always going to be someone confident who can fill the shoes of the next guy? Yeah, um, obviously it gives opportunity for other players to come into the side. We saw Tom Andrews get a crack in the last game. He did well. Um, once again, Rafa, he did well, so yeah, it's just an opportunity for the young kids to come in and take the next step. Any sort of blokes you think could step up in uh, the absence of Chatty and you now Richo's obviously not going to be back straight away? Uh, any quicks in the wins? Um, yeah, I, I don't really know who they'd go for, but there's plenty of players that have stood, uh, put their hand up. I guess you've got Nick Benton that's played a couple of first games, you've got Valenti that was in the 12. Last game, so whatever way they go, I'm confident that they will they will do well enough.